In this video, we're going to be filming how to dissect a sheep eye, and we're going to be noting um, the different structures, and each of these three eyeballs kind of illustrates a structure um, best, and then we're going to actually dissect and remove off this eyeball. Okay, so when we're dissecting an eye, we want, basically our, our dream eye would look like this, right? It has a, it's nice and skinny and everything's mostly removed, but we tend to get eyes that look like this. It has a lot of the um, peripheral structures still on it that we have to kind of remove. And when you're removing those structures, your goal is to make sure that you isolate everything really well and that you're being able to name and identify structures you go through. Okay, so um, one of the important structures that you guys are going to need to know, you're going to start with the external portions. And so we're going to have to remove some stuff, right? So I just want to show you back here. On the outside, you're going to see muscles. And note that the human eye has six muscles, extrinsic muscles, but we only um, see four on the sheep. So notice one, two, and there are these light tan, well, kind of darker tan bits here. Three, and pardon me here, is going to be four. Okay. And right, these are going to be helping the eye move up, down, um, up and down, yeah, left and right. In our eye, it allows us to look left and right without having to turn our head um, to rotate our eye laterally or medially. Okay, so on the outside, if you don't have a nice pretty eyeball like this, you're gonna note that you have a bit of your eyelid. And sometimes you can see the little hairs and those are gonna be eyelashes. Now remember, this was a living thing, so let's appreciate its donation to us. And so we're gonna see the eyelid, right? And on the inside of the eyelid, that's where we're gonna have the conjunctiva. And that's the inside of that pink side of your own eyelid if you're comparing. And you know you have a superior and an inferior, right? The upper and lower lid. So you're gonna have those. Um, and those conjunctiva each have their own name. But we're gonna skip that portion for this part. We're just gonna go over a little bit more of the um, internal eye structures. Okay, so I'm gonna have my sharp scissors. And first, there's another structure I want you to know. So the optic nerve. So if you guys see this tiny little nubby right here, this is it. And it's kind of hidden amongst some of this fat and this muscle right here. And if you touch this with your finger, it feels turgid. It actually feels quite strong. So that's good. So on this eye though, oh my goodness, where on earth is that? So we know that the cornea is going to be in the front, the anterior view. We're going to note that on the posterior view, somewhere back here is going to be the optic nerve. And so a lot of the time, you're going to have to feel for it. And look, I'm feeling, and if you guys can see, I can see a little bit poking through here. Let me get my blunt probe. And so the optic nerve, I'm feeling it, is actually right in here. And so sometimes you can get really lucky and you can isolate it quite early. But so let's say you weren't able to find it so easily. Maybe you felt some part, some bone structure or leftover cartilage um, from when it was removed from the sheep's eye. So we're going to cut. And when you're cutting, so remember this is going to be that inside of that lid. You're cutting around. You're not just stabbing into the eye. So we're going to start down here on this end. And so notice if I can kind of grab it and chunk it off, I'm still going to keep that spherical shape of the eye. And so I'm not cutting into the eye, I'm just cutting around, kind of like I'm shaving it off. I'm shaving off this fat that we're cutting through. Okay, notice I'm getting to those four eye muscles now. They come back and they attach here, right, where they would attach inside the skull. Okay, and we're going to keep cutting some of this adipose. And we know that the adipose is going to be the fat white bits. So we're going to cut. And as you guys are dissecting this, at, um, when you guys start to dissect this, you'll notice that these eyes put off a lot of vapor. So the note, that light muscle part is going to be right there. So please make sure you have your safety goggles on. I definitely have mine on, so you're going to make sure you have yours on as well for your own benefit. So let's talk about a little technique. So sometimes you don't want to be just stabbing in, right? That's not good. So you'll get your scissors. You'll stick it under a layer, and you can spread. And look, now I've gone through. I haven't stabbed into the eye or anything like that. And I've still kept the integrity of that structure. Okay, so goodbye, eye muscle. We're gonna keep cutting over here. And look, so sometimes you'll get scared and you think, oh my goodness, I just cut into the choroid, that black layer, but nope, you're okay. So you're gonna keep cutting through. And maybe you're worried, so you're gonna go ahead and stick your scissors through, spread them apart, and you'll keep cutting. And look, now I'm getting layers. Okay, so that black area was kind of a, a false, right? I didn't poke into the eye, so I'm good. So I'm gonna keep spreading. 
Now, if you notice, I have some fat on top of, and some fascia, Oop. right? That's gonna be on top of that muscle, on top of that muscle right there. If I wanted to isolate it for you, that's what I would do. But now we're gonna chop it off. We're breaking up with it. We don't need it anymore. And nope. And so like, okay, I'm gonna fill in the back here. Whew. I'm still good. I haven't gotten to my optic nerve here. We're still okay. Because remember, we're still working on the front of the eye. And your goal is definitely not to drop it. So we're gonna cut through, separate. Boop, boop. Get rid of this fat and some fascia with it. Okay. And your goal is to isolate the sclera. So the sclera, what is that? That's gonna be that thick white outer coating. It's actually quite strong. And we'll see it more as we remove more of this tissue here. And yeah, so it helps shape the eyeball, keep it this nice circular shape. And we're gonna go ahead and cut some more of this off. And so as I get near the back, I'm gonna keep my eye out on that, um, that optic nerve back there. And we're gonna keep cutting. And those of you who are perfectionists will really, really enjoy this because you're gonna keep cutting, keep removing that tissue as best you can. You want your eye to look as beautiful and pretty as you can. So I would keep cutting here just to make sure it's nice and perfect. Okay. Perfect. And now we're getting there. So notice we're getting to that sclera in the back. And what I would do here is I would just make sure I'm still feeling for that optic nerve. Still there. We're still good. And so we're going to go ahead and cut. Now I'm on the posterior side of the eye, right? That's where the optic nerve is going to be. And I'm just going to keep cutting. And you're always going to be feeling, just to make sure you've got it, you're going to cut through. Boop. And if I'm ever worried, I do my old scissor spread technique. I'm going to keep cutting. And I know by now your goggles are probably fogging up. If that's the case, go ahead and slow your pace. Take a deep breath. Right? And it's okay to kind of stop whenever you're dissecting to take your gloves off, leave the room, make sure you thoroughly wash your hands, take a breather. And your goal is that this should take a while, right? We want you to enjoy this experience, enjoy dissecting. Okay, let's go ahead and keep removing this. Right, and so like most people would stop right here, that this would not be a completely dissected eye. But notice I can start to see more of this white sclera right into there, which just looks really good. Okay, and I know my optic nerve is back here. So now the optic nerve pokes outward, right? So I'm trying to cut around it. I'm not cutting like this. That would cut it straight off and we definitely don't want that. Okay. All right. And so we have a little bit more muscle down here that we're just going to trim off. Okay. All right. So we're going to keep cutting. So now I'm definitely getting some more fat, right? I'm definitely getting some more fat back here. I can still feel this optic nerve. Okay. It's right there. And so I'm going to cut. And I know right now you're thinking, I can't even see that optic nerve. But this case, you're really relying on your ability to feel. And I don't know if you can see that thing kind of poking up through there. I know that that's it. So I'm going to isolate it so you guys can actually see it a little better. So I'm chopping off this muscle. So and again, I do my field test. Phew, okay, it's right there. And so I can feel this long kind of structure. I'm sure you guys can see that right there. That's going to be that optic nerve. And it was hidden under all of that fat, all of that muscle. So we're going to keep cutting it away. Okay. And so now, look, now that I have it here, so I kind of isolated it. So I'm separating that muscle and fat. And so now that I know that I have my optic nerve over here, I can keep cutting down here and not have to worry that I'm going to stab into my, um, my eyeball or cut off that um, optic nerve. Okay, so we're going to keep isolating this optic nerve right here. These eyeballs get very slippery, so keep that in mind. And you're going to notice that you're going to remove those little bits of muscle down here. You're going to go ahead and do your spread technique, all that. Okay, so we're going to get rid of these last bits. Right, and we all see how in the textbook you see a beautiful eye all by itself. And that's because someone went through and removed all these muscle attachment bits right here. Okay. And we're going to go ahead. And so right now I'm cutting the outer coating that's going to be covering this optic nerve. I'm going to go ahead and remove some of this fat here at the base. 
you definitely want to make sure you have some sharp scissors. I know sometimes in lab the scissors can be a little dull from just from general use, so please make sure you let us know and we will go ahead and repair, um, replace those for you. Okay. All right, it's looking a little better. I guess how particular you are here really, really, um, it really works for your benefit. So again, nice, beautiful sclera. So let's kind of examine our handiwork. I'm gonna push away a lot of this fat and eyeball. So I have the anterior view. Let's go ahead and exchange that for a blunt rope. I have a nice, beautiful eye at the anterior view. We're gonna go ahead and have this cornea, which covers the iris and resulting pupil. We're gonna have some sclera, which is this beautiful white part right through here. We're gonna go have, have an optic nerve on the posterior side. So now we're posterior, optic nerve. The cornea is gonna be on the front. And so when we're going to be cutting through, what we're gonna do, so some people use a scalpel, some people use scissors. So we're gonna go ahead and use 